Hey guys, welcome back to Cat's Kitchen. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a fast red sauce. We're making raviolis tonight. Um, it's just some freezer, just to have a fast meal. So I'm gonna show you how we do a fast red sauce. So here we go. Really doesn't take a lot of ingredients. We have a half an onion here. I'm just gonna slice, chop this up some more. some fresh basil. I have minced garlic, pepper, garlic powder, a um, little bit of soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and then we have some Italian seasoning and then some onion flakes too. If you have basil and parsley, Instead of the Italian seasoning mix, that'll be perfect. Smoke, nice and hot. We're gonna put in our onions. I keep a wooden spoon whenever I'm making sauce. So we can mix this up. I'm gonna put in one pound of ground beef. Break this meat up a little bit. Next, we're going to start with our seasonings. We have some pepper. Garlic powder. Some soy sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Italian seasoning. Or you can do parsley. Your parsley and basil. A little bit of oregano. Some onion flakes. some salt. Then we have some minced garlic. I'm also going to add some fresh basil to this. I'm just rolling that up and slicing it now. Just roll it up lightly. And then we're going to toss it right in our pan, right in our pot. saute for a few minutes. We're on high, high heat. We're trying to get our meat brown and get some of the flavors in there. And then once everything is brown, we're going to add our tomato products. I make my sauce a little different every time based on what type of tomato products I have. Um, oftentimes I'll just use the pre-jarred sauce at the store and then I just kind of use that with canned tomatoes and just make it a little bit better. Um, I do have jarred sauce that I canned myself but I kind of like to save those um, because they keep on the shelf for so long. I don't really like to burn through that if it's unnecessary. So once this is browned, I will bring you back so that you can see what tomato products we're going to use for this sauce. Alrighty guys, so I already have my other water over here on for the ravioli. 
I'm going to show you what we're going to use for our meat sauce. So I just have two jars of sauce here. And then I'm going to use a can of diced tomatoes. And if it's too liquidy, then we're going to use a little bit of our tomato paste as well. Once your meat is all browned, you're going to add in your tomato products. I like to do the juice and all for the tomatoes. If you think it's going to be too watery, you can always drain them off. Then at this point, we're going to turn back the heat. Because our sauce is going to cook on a lower state once you add your tomato products. Give it a nice mix. And then we're going to be tasting it once everything heats through. I'll give you guys a look. Very nice. Nice and chunky sauce, just the way we like it. I try to make a little bit more sauce too so that I can freeze this and use it for other things. Because this will be way too much that we need right now. So um, we'll be able to repurpose this with pizzas or pasta or pretty much anything that requires a red sauce, stromboli, um, you know, anything like that. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is just let this cook. I'm gonna pop a lid on it. Once it's heated through, we're gonna give it a taste and see if it needs any more seasoning. Uh, but like I said, I don't think I'm gonna use the um, tomato paste. I really don't need it. I like the consistency. So I'm just going to clean out my jars with a little bit of water and pour them in here. And um, yeah, taste it in about five minutes. And really, once this is heated through, the sauce is pretty much done. Now, if you want it to really give this time, if you do this earlier, in the morning and then by dinner time if you just let it cook on barely low like low almost off all day long and just keep continually stirring it you know every time you go through the kitchen like maybe every 30 minutes or so just to make sure it doesn't stick you can also put a diffuser in between the burner and the pot and that'll also help your sauce from burning or sticking so yeah so this is it guys um like i said i'll mention in the comments below if i add in any more seasoning or whatnot um but i'll show you what the raviolis and the pasta sauce looks like all together here once it's guys so our sauce has simmered for probably about maybe 10 minutes and it was starting to stick a little bit so just keep an eye on that but i tasted it and it really doesn't need anything so just enough time to boil our ravioli our ravioli took about eight minutes for al dente and then i rinse it i always rinse my pasta in cool water and that will stop the cooking process Next, we're just going to top this with some Parmesan cheese, and it's ready to go. Serve it with a side salad or a vegetable if you'd like. And this is a spinach and a regatta ravioli from Aldi, actually. It's one of their uh, ones that are shelf-stable in the packet. All right, dinner is served. Thanks so much guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.